What I have here is we have some tablets that we'll uh, look at and analyze. If we looked it up on our website, we would it would show as Oxycontin or uh, the chemical name is Oxycodone. Uh, but when we test these out, we're finding that these contain fentanyl. We're gonna get a count on these. This one's easy, we have nine. For this tablet, we generally know the concentration we need for our instrument, so uh, we'll take half of this tablet. We'll leave the other half for secondary analysis if needed. It'll just cut right in half there. Sometimes we get little fragments like that. Put this into our, into our test tube. So we're gonna add some sodium hydroxide. We will do our best to get these into solution. We're gonna add our solvent to it. We will take our sample without all of the blue-green chunks in it and pipette it into our second. We use a gas chromatograph mass spectrometer for our analysis, and it's abbreviated to GCMS. It's a two-part instrument with the GC portion, the gas chromatograph portion, being where it separates compounds based on their polarity and their interaction with the column. And so it pushes it through a column and it separates them based on the size polarity. And then it goes into the mass spec where it's bombarded with electrons and then it's fragmented into little pieces. And these are um, called the total ion chromatograph when they're graphed. And this is what we can use to identify it.